day to get them guys back when we're playing tonight. Are you feeling fresh? You ready to wish you were playing on Saturday? Uh, I kind of wish I was playing on Saturday because, you know, we're in a good group right now on defense and offense to just keep it rolling. But this bye week really help out because uh, I'm not as fresh as I really want to be. You guys going to watch some football tomorrow night? Yeah, I'm definitely watching for one tomorrow night. So. Who are you most interested in seeing this weekend? Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I just want to see everybody this weekend, just see where everybody's at right now. Yeah. And to see what we can pair up and then just to see uh, some of the teams that we want to see. Are you Rooting curious about time. Baylor? I mean, have you seen much of Baylor? Are you curious about Baylor and Oregon and their offense? I mean, just I, I, you've probably seen them a little bit. Yeah, uh, I've seen, I seen a little bit of both of them teams, and, and I feel with a good defense, you can stop in the offense. So, uh, we, we just we never know. So. Do you right. watch this game with a really interest in the words? Are you pulling for Stanford tomorrow night? Uh, uh, I would be lying if I said I would be pulling for them, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of pulling for them. But uh, I know at the end of the day, uh, God's going to take care of all the business for us, and everything's going to be handled. So we, we just got to just keep winning and doing our work. Right, Ryan, how do you watch a game like that? When you're a player, you're so accustomed to breaking down structure of offense and defense and, and how things schematically work. When you watch a game, can you turn your brain off and just watch it like the rest of us would, or how do you how do you actually watch a game? Sometimes, sometimes it's hard to do that because uh, even I have DVR on my uh, TV too, <laughs> so like I'll just be running and stuff like, why would you do that or like oh like he should fit better somewhere right, right there. Sometimes I can do it. It is if I'm by myself, it's hard for me to do it. But when I'm with other people, it's, I, it's, I can tend to just watch it. <laughs> huh? Can you at least have wings and potato chips? Oh, yeah, I can, I can have wings, potato chips, and still break it down. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you, you literally have in your gut, your feeling right now that things are going to work out, that you guys are going to be where you want to be? Yeah, I really have it in my gut feeling. Um, I feel like we're doing a, a great job. Uh, every, everybody's taking care of business. You know, I feel like at the end of the day, everybody's going to play out. Uh, but that, that means you guys take care of business. I mean, what's the focus you see? I mean, what, what is it you see about your team that tells you? That are gonna finish out. I just see, I just see that everybody just fighting. We, to be honest, we're not really having any bad practices. Um, everybody just continue to go and continue to push. We're not really having any bad days. So I, that's that's why I feel yeah, like Braxton everything is well, be, be good. He's Braxton. I've never heard of Braxton. <laughs> Ryan, we, we talked a lot. We talked a lot with Braxton, for example, this year. Him being more comfortable and more confident to see what that happens as a junior. Do you feel that way? On the defensive side, do you feel like you sort of have a grasp of everything now? Yeah, I definitely feel like I have a grasp of a lot of things. Uh, making it a lot simpler, simpler when I uh, play the game, and when um, I, it's, it's making things a lot slower. So when I'm out there, I can see things I didn't see my freshman year. Uh, I can communicate with guys a lot easier and a lot smoother. How often before the snap do you feel like you know what the offense is going to do? On that play. It, it depends. Uh, sometimes when they line up in formation that we practice, and uh, sometimes it's almost like 70% chance I know what they don't, we're going to do. But sometimes teams just line up in stuff that we haven't even practiced for, or just little little uh, keys that they have that they just throw, throw us off. But a lot of times I can I can almost tell if it's like a run or a pass or something like that. Coach, Some, Meyer, Coach Meyer last week called you one of the best, maybe the best, or one of the best blitzers in America. I think you saw that comment and stuff. Number one, do you agree? But number two, what sets you apart there, do you think? Um, yeah, I'd love to be the best blitzer in America right now. And, and I just keep working on it. Me and Coach Figgle keep working on those things. But uh, I just, like Coach Figgle tells me all the time, you always got to work on your aiming and your time, your timing and your aiming point. So I just try to just be in the right time in the right place and just try to find the cadence of what they're doing and get adjusted to it. Yeah, I know. I was talking to Coach Meyer yesterday about it. I was asking about that. It's almost like a running back reading his hole, right? I mean, right. It's, it's kind of a similar concept. Isn't it? I mean, just. Why, why do you feel like you're really good at it, though? Do you feel like the timing is per is really good? or what, what kind of sets you apart, you think? Sometimes it's just timing. Sometimes it's just the will to want to be there. Yeah. And then it just sometimes the instinct kick in. Like, if you feel that a play is going to go this way, or like you were saying before, like you almost have an idea of what the play might be. If you just shoot it like you're supposed to, and the gap you're supposed to be in there helps out a lot. Since you guys started blitzing more, does the whole defense feel different? Does it feel like y'all are a different group out there than you were? Like six, seven weeks ago. I think uh, a lot of guys are feeling a little bit different because uh, they, they feel like we're more of aggressive style defense and DBs are kind of understanding that the ball's going to be out in a certain amount of time. Yeah. So uh, with us getting there and letting the DBs know that the ball's going to get out a lot quicker, it allow them to play on the ball a lot better. Have you seen any adjustment by offenses being more aware of you as a potential blitzer? Like are they keeping oh. an eye on you more or yelling stuff? or Sometimes you can see them call, call out uh, who they think is going to blitz or who they think is the mighty linebacker. But uh, 
I really haven't seen it yet, but maybe it might be coming up. Some of your teammates have talked about how y'all have done less thinking and that's sort of led to better results. Um, how did that approach kind of come about to just be more aggressive, do less you know, uh, thinking during plays? To be honest, uh, like, I've been like that since my freshman year, just just go out there and play and not, not try to think. So uh, I didn't know guys been thinking as much, but I, I just always feel like when you go out there and just playing, you can react a lot better than trying to think where somebody's going to be and where they're supposed to be at. I think you, you do a lot better just playing. But you got to hit 